Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Come on in the room. Come in the room. Come in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will be glad this day. Good morning to all of you. Come on in the room. It is time for us to give the Lord our first and our best praise. The first fruit of our lips. It's time for us to bless him and magnify him. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come in the room and let us magnify the Lord, for he is great. Good morning to you, Prophet Tressa. He is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be honored and adored. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Sister Donna. I see you, Sister Sheila. Good morning to you. God bless you. God bless you, niece. I see you this morning peeking in. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come on in the room. Greet me as you come in. Greet one another as you come into the room, into this place. Let me know that you are here and you came to give the Lord some praise this morning. You came to magnify him. I see you, April. Good morning. That's right. Greet me as you come in. Let me know that you plan to be a participator in the word of God this morning, not just a spectator, for the Lord is great. Listen, he kept us all weekend long. He let you lay down last night. You woke you up this morning, and I'm telling you, this is a day that he is blessing you. Good morning to you, Mary J. Listen, all the way from Texas, just like my niece April, all the way from Texas. Good morning to you. For those of you listening who are sharing in this meditation and you are not from the South Bend area, let me know where you're from so we can greet you the Tina Patton Ministry way. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer and then we're going to get right into what the Lord has for us on this morning. Father God, we just bless your name. We thank you, Lord God, for continuing to bless us. And Lord, you've done it again. Whatever that thing was. Whatever it was that we needed you to do in our lives, Lord God, you've done that thing over for us, God. Again, you continue to bless us, Lord God. You healed us, God. You raised us, God. You did it again for us, oh God. God, what we needed, we called on you, Lord God, and you were right there. You did not leave us, God. You did not forsake us, God. You've never left us. As a matter of fact, God, you continued to show us how powerful and mighty you were. Lord God, you made the way. God, all you told us to do was show up. You didn't want us to plan anything. You didn't want us to create a way. Lord God, because you already made the way and we thank you for that. Lord God, now we pray that you will allow this word to go forth and do what it is that you've commanded it to do. We know that it will not return to you void and we thank you that it will be engrafted to the hearts of the people, God, that they may be changed. We thank you this word, God, will accomplish every great thing, every great feat that you have set it out to do, Lord God. And Lord, even God, that the enemy will see, God, what it is that you are doing in the earth realm. And Lord, we know, God, that salvation and deliverance and breakthrough shall happen, God, even because of this word, Lord, and we give you praise for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you, Sister Tyree. Sister Terry, good morning to you. God bless all of you for joining this morning meditation, this broadcast, this morning that we are here sharing in fellowship with the Lord. We are sharing a word of God that we believe is going to touch the hearts and minds of people, of believers, believers and unbelievers, that those who don't know the Lord will come crying to him because of what they know that he can do in their lives. Listen, I've got a feeling this morning that everything is going to be all right. I've got that feeling that everything is going to work out for our good. You know, sometimes we things happen and we know that everything is, just seems like it's all over the place. Listen, and even though, hey, Brother Frank, and even though um, situations occur, there's a situation that happened even on last night, on yesterday. My son was on his way home from school, and he had an, um, an accident in the car. Not, not an accident where he hit someone, but he had an accident with a tire on the car. And, 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 and he actually had an opportunity to send me somewhat of a video of what was going on as it was occurring. And I thought, you know... God, I just bless you. I thank you, Lord God, that you had him. You were you were guiding his car off to the side, that there were no cars around him as his tire was rolling down the road. There was no cars that were in the way. The tire did not cause an accident as it flew off of his vehicle, and he was able to get his car to the side of the road to safety. You know, and as I was even, you know, as he was on the video, and he was, first he was calling mama, then he was calling on God, and I said, you know what? And I said, 
said to him as we, after we got him home after a while, and I said to him, I said, baby, you called on the right one because the Lord was the one that was guiding your car. He was making sure that you were safe and that you weren't hurt. And I'm telling you, it was a sight to see as I watched, I'm telling you on video, that tire rolling down the road, following the cars that were driving down that highway. And I thought, you know what? First, my first inclination was he called me, was on the phone talking. He was afraid. He was, he was, he wasn't really afraid because it had happened, but he was shaken by the thing that had happened to him. And I, and I wanted to get my baby home. You know, I wanted the tow truck to come. I, I wanted, you know, the police were there. I wanted to, I wanted to get home and I was anxious. And my husband said, it's going to be all right. Don't, you know, don't get anxious. Don't, don't panic him. Just, you know, let me handle what's got to be handled. And you know how mamas are. But, you know, but in my husband, with, with that reassuring voice that he has, he says, everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to work out. And you know what? We look at the situations and you know how God has everything under control. God works everything out for our good. And I can say this morning, you know, we so finally, you know, tow trucks came. My son went to pick my my other son up and and he came home and he began to recount what happened and and how miraculous that thing was it was a miracle if you all would have seen it it was a miracle how he was driving down the highway and the tire came off the, the vehicle and the tire was rolling down the on the highway while he was sitting on the side. He was able to get the car to the side. It was a miracle. And he began to recount that miracle. And that just lets us know how much the Lord has us in his hands. And no matter how, how scary the thing is, no matter how difficult we think it is, we got to rest in the Lord. Call on him, rest in him to know that everything is going to be all right. And when you trust God, when you put that, you, my God, I was, as I was thinking about this meditation, I was thinking about faith and how when you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, no, no matter what is going on, no matter what happens in your life, you, that's right, Tyree, you just trust God. Listen, we've already built up some trust. We, we sent up, we sent up timbers. We built up trust in him so that when something happens, we don't have to go and get trust. It will go better with those who fear God, who are reverent before him. It just says to me that when I am reverent, when I fear God, no matter what happens with anybody else, Prophet Tressa, I think I'm okay now. Anybody, no matter what happens with anybody else, if we fear the Lord, if we trust him, it will go better with those. If we love God, if we're reverent before him, the word of the Lord is saying to us, Sister Miller, that it will go better for us. So this morning, I want to say to you, I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. No matter how the storm may come, no matter how the rain may come. Listen, no matter the, the terrible things, yes, that happen in our lives. This morning, I want you to know that, listen, everything is going to be all right. Absolutely everything. Because there are things, there are problems and situations that we come up, uh, come up against, things that affect us. And, and we think about, you know, why do the righteous suffer while, wh wh when the wicked seems like they prosper? But in Ecclesiastics, this verse is saying to us that even though it seems like that, you know, one of my favorite scriptures is found in Psalms 37, fret not thyself because of evildoers. And what does the word of God say about that? He says, because they'll soon be cut down. And a lot of times we think about it. We think about, you know, people, you know, they, you, we know they're, you know, I'm going to say it. Maybe they're gambling all the time or they're selling drugs or they're doing things that they're all kind of evil. They're, you know, they're cheating, they're stealing, they're, you know, doing all sorts of manner of evil. And yet you see they're living high. They're doing all the things that it seems like as, as men and women of God, we ought to be doing. But the Bible says, fret not yourself. Don't, so don't be concerned about it. Don't worry about those who are doing evil. So the Bible says, because they're going to soon be cut down and they're going to wither as the green herb. That's what the word of the Lord says. And as we get to this, this passage of scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse number 14, it is addressing that very thing. Because it is saying to us, although my God, it seems as though, listen, a wicked person commits a hundred crimes. It seems like they're going to live a long time. The word of the Lord is saying to us, I know, 
I know it will be better for those. You, they may live a long time. It said, but I know it will be better if you fear God. I know it's going to be better if you honor the Lord. I know it's going to be better on you if you do what the Lord is asking you to do. I know it's going to be better because we have to focus on doing what God has called for us to do, that we may receive the blessings that God has for us. And the blessings that God has for us, the Lord is saying that they are yea and they are amen in the Lord. The blessings that God has for us, my God, those are the blessings that are going to bring us life. And they're going to bring us breakthrough. And they're going to bring us joy everlasting. When we think about, my God, think about even, even in the book of Job. And, and, and listen, Job's friends, you know, came to Job. And at first, you know, Job's friends came and they came and they, they did what friends should do. They came to just, you know, be with Job and just have some time with their friend who was suffering some trials. Some trials. But then they begin to conclude and say, Job, you know, you must be doing something. You must be doing something because if you're righteous, you don't suffer. But that's not the case. Listen, sometimes if you, the righteous suffer as well. But even in Ecclesiastes is saying to me, even though I may go through some stuff, you know, things may happen, situations may happen. I've got to know that, listen, there's no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. But the Bible is saying, even in this passage of scripture, it's going to be better for me. It's going to be better on me if I continue to stay with the Lord. If I continue to focus myself on what God has for me to do, it's going to be better on me. It will be better. And so even sometimes people think today, you know, well, what's, when something happens with a person who is of faith, when maybe they fall into an illness or something, you say, well, maybe they won all that in the first place. That's not the case. Yes. God is able to deliver us out of every situation. And we know that he's able to deliver us. Because just because we serve God doesn't mean that we don't have any issues. And we talked about it before. Sometimes pressure, anxiety brings us closer to God. But we want to be clear this morning. But that serving God brings you many benefits. Because just because you go through some issues don't mean you quit. Don't mean you throw in the towel. Look at Job. Just because he went through some issues doesn't mean that he forget about what God had done in his life all throughout his life. Because at the end of his trial, listen, it was far better for Job at the end of his struggle, at the end of the pain that he went through, at the end of everything that happened with him. It was far better for him. And this is what Ecclesiastes is saying to us this morning. It's far better for you. Don't be concerned about what happens with other people. When you trust God, when you believe in him, when you have faith to know that God is going to work, you know, and do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask for or think, you can truly say, listen, through that trial, I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. You know, and sometimes, listen, you know, there are old wives tales about things that happen, you know, when, when your ear twitches, uh, you know, somebody's talking about you or when your, when your money, when your hand is uh, itching, you know, somebody going to give you some money. But you can wake up in the morning every day with a feeling in your spirit to know that God is going to work out whatever's going on in your life. That God is going to work that situation out and he's going to work it out for your good. Because you can't be one that says, you know, because what will end up happening is you'll begin to think about all those things that you did in your life. And you'll begin to say, because of this trial. The Lord is, is the Lord is punishing me. You'll begin to think about those things. But listen, if you've asked God to forgive you for those things, don't you know the Lord has forgiven you? He's forgiven you and he's thrown that thing into the sea is what the Bible says. So never to remember that thing again. The Lord has healed you of that thing. He's forgiven you of that thing. So you can't get to the place where you are in condemnation of a thing that you have done when the Lord has forgiven you. We move past that thing. All the trials and the, 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 even the fiery darts that the enemy may throw our way. We use the Lord, my God, as a remedy to help us through these situations, through these painful places in our life. Because we know, my God, that when we don't, the enemy then will have us in a place of condemnation. He'll have us in a place, listen, where we're, where we're not forgiving ourselves when we already know that the Lord has forgiven us. You guys say this morning, no matter what's going on, I got a feeling 
everything is going to be all right. Why is that? Because I look at John 16 and 33. And his Bible says this. He says, these things I have spoken to you that ye might have peace. I know it's hard to have peace right now in the time where it seems like there is no peace. There's divisions. Listen, there's fighting among us. There's civil unrest. The government is going crazy. Good morning, Pastor Didi. But the Bible says, these things I've spoken to you that you might have peace. It says, in the world, there shall be tribulation. But it says, but you be of good cheer. Just like Ecclesiastes says, but I know this. I know it's going to be better for you. He said, but you be of good cheer. I know stuff is happening in the world, but you be of good cheer because he says, I have overcome the world. Be of, no matter what you see, no matter what you what it looks like, you got to understand this, that I have under, overcome the world. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, because the Bible tells us that we don't walk by what we see. We walk by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So we can say, look, I know what I see. But I, by faith, I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. By faith, I got a feeling that the Lord is working this thing out. By faith, my God, I can call those things that are not as though they were. By faith, I know it looks bad. By faith, I know, my God, that illness may have my mother. I know by faith that illness, listen, it looks like it got my uncle. But I know by faith, God, the Lord says that I will heal them and heal them to the uttermost. By faith, I know, come on, I know it don't look look like it with my natural eye, but with my spiritual eye, I can believe that everything is going to be all right according to the word of God. Listen, the Bible says, listen, the wicked seem like they're going to prosper. It seems like it. And there seems like the righteous, come on, the more, sometimes it seems like the more good we try to do, seems like the more evil tries to press on us. That's what Paul used to say, come on, the more I try to do good, evil is all around me. But we got to know that this is just like Romans 8 and 28 tells us that it will work out for your good. If you love the Lord and if you are the called according to his purpose, the Bible says that it will, I know it will work out for your good. And so the Lord has to remind us this, that the, the writer of this passage of scripture in Ecclesiastes has to remind us that even though we have trials, even though we have struggles, come on, that even through our trials, we have the ability to turn those trials into triumphs. Come on, we have abilities to, to turn those struggles, my God, into something that's going to bring some joy in our lives. Come on, troubles may come and sometimes it seems like it knocks us down. Sometimes it seems like come on, it knocks us out. But I'm telling you, God can bring your situation he can turn it around. He can bring gain to your situation. The lives where it seems like you're burdened down, the Lord can take that thing and turn it around. Come on, you got to say this morning, I know you're going through some things. I know it seems heavy on you, but you got to confess this morning that I've got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Where you get that feeling from? Come on, the spirit of God which comes to lead and guide you into all truths. He's not, come on, going to be able to get out of that mental state where things were looking bad for him. I bless God that he was able to call on God to know that the Lord had him in mind. Listen, the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 and 11, he says, I know the thoughts I think toward you. I love it when the Lord says, I know, because it lets me know that if he knows it, then I know it because I can be confident in what the Lord says he knows. He says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. He said, thoughts of peace and not of evil. It says to give you an expected end. He says, listen, I know that I know I'm going to bring you out of this situation. So you can say, because the Lord knows what he has planned for you, you can declare. And I mean, you can declare with confidence that I've got a feeling, my God, that everything is going to be all right. Why do I got that feeling? I got that feeling because the Lord told me, my God, that he has a plan for me. And that plan that he has for me is a plan to work things out for my good. That Listen, it ain't something that I think about. It's something that I know. I've got a feeling, my God, that in spite of the trials, in spite of the fiery darts that the enemy tries to throw my way, my God, the Lord is reminding me this morning that he's got a plan in mind for me. The Lord is reminding me this morning that he's working everything out for my good. And because he's working everything out for my good, I can surely say, my God, that everything is 
is going to be all right. Just right. Glory to his name. Sister Mary, I see you this morning because I know that you know, my God, through the trials that you've been through, through the trouble that you face, through the struggles that have been thrown your way, all you got to do is have faith to believe in God. Because if the Lord says he knows it, and if he says, I've already overcome the world, no matter what the enemy is throwing in our path, no matter what he's throwing our way, Mary J, the Lord says, everything is going to be all right. You may not see it this morning. You may not listen. You can't see it with your natural eye. But as I said to you, you got to walk by faith and not by sight. So as you continue to walk this thing out by faith, recognizing who the Lord is, you got to recognize that the Lord will work it out. Listen, somebody knows it. That's my one of my favorite songs. Jesus will work it out. My God, I'm telling you, sometimes the enemy, listen, will try to tell you that is no use. He will try to tell you that there's no point in you wasting your time and saying that you're going to follow the Lord, that you're going to call yourself a Christian. And sometimes, my God, the enemy, the devil will even try to convince you that you're not saved because of what is going on in your life. He might try to convince you that the Lord doesn't love you because you're going through a sickness. You're going through some, maybe some issues where you don't, maybe you don't have all the money that you want to have. The enemy may try to convince you that the Lord is not on your side, but I want you to know this morning, my God, that the Lord is reminding us again that every Everything is going to be all right. We don't have to listen to what the enemy is saying to us because the enemy doesn't know. But my God, the Lord is saying to us that he has saved us. He has healed us. He has redeemed us and he has given us everything we need for life, for health, for healing and for happiness. Listen, I'm telling you the truth this morning. The Lord is saying to you that if you trust on him, if you can believe on him as your personal savior, every promise that the Lord has promised to you. Come on, he's promised you healing. He's promised you truth. He's promised you liberty. My God, he's promised you, my God, that he, listen, not only has he promised you that, but he has already defeated the devil. He's already defeated death and hell. Come on, on your behalf. He has already, my God, God has already, my God, sent Jesus that he would be, my God, the propitiation for your sin. My God, he has already sent him as an intercessor, my God, before God, that when you need something, you call on the Lord. Come on, in the name of Jesus and he will do what it is you're asking him to do. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that this is a confidence that we have, that if we ask anything according to the will of God, that he hears us. And when he hears us, we have the petitions that we've set before him. We bless the Lord Jesus Christ that if we trust in God this morning, my God, trust in him, the devil will not be able to take us out. If we believe that we are a child of the most high God, if we believe that we are the righteousness of God, if we believe, my God, that we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ, I'm telling you this morning, you can safely say and securely say that no matter what is going on in my life, I got a feeling, hey, this morning, that everything is going to be all right. I'm telling you, my God, people this morning, we're people are turning away from the church. They're turning away from God. They're turning away from uh, their faith, my God. And it seems like the church is in trouble. I said, it seems like it. It's not my God, because I want you to know my God that the Lord has said, he said uh, uh, in Matthew chapter 16, listen, the church is not in trouble. No matter what the enemy is trying to make you believe, no matter what he is trying to make you think this morning, it's not in trouble because Matthew 16 and 18 says this, it says upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I'm telling you, my God, the church, my God is a place where the Lord has built his his, his, his his foundation and that foundation will always be there. It will not fall no matter how the enemy tries to convince the people of God that the church is not revelant anymore. The church is continued to be revelant. My God. So no matter how many times we have to walk, listen as a church, as the people of God through the valley of the shadow of death, no matter how many times, my God, we have to walk through places where it seems like men and women have turn their back on God. We as men and women, we as a people of God, got to continue to keep our eyes on the Lord. We got to continue to keep our eyes on him who is able to heal and save and deliver us. We've got to continue to keep our eyes on the one, my God, who is able to do exceedingly and above. Now unto him who is able, my God, to keep us from falling.
calling. We got to keep our eyes on him. I'm telling you, listen, you got to be saying it this morning. I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. I know through this pandemic, it seems like into 2021, we're going to still be dealing with this situation, still be wearing, wearing masks. I'm okay with that. Still be social distancing. Listen, it's not business as usual. Maybe we will not go back to work. Maybe our offices will not open. Listen, maybe we won't have the jobs that we used to have. But listen, many of us have re retooled. It's all right. I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Many of us have pruned so that we can grow. Many of us, listen, have cut off certain things. My God. Oh, my God. So that we could grow. But we didn't know we needed to cut off those things. We didn't know there were some dead things that were attached to us. But listen, my God, things have happened so that in our future, it would be much better. We may have been looking at other people. We may right now have been looking at people that have been walking around acting like the virus was not even a, 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 a real thing, acting like it was a hoax. And we were saying, did nothing happen to them? But listen, Ecclesiastes is saying to us, it would be far better on you, far better on you to follow what the Lord is saying, far better on you, my God, for those who trust God. It's far better on you. Listen, recognizing that everything is going to be all right. Don't throw in the towel this morning is what I want to say to you. Don't give in this morning for every area of your life come the Lord has it in mind. Listen, there will be some good times and there will be some bad times, but listen, through everything that you are going through, you got to remember that you serve a God who is already in the future. The Lord already knows. He knows your ending from your beginning. Come on. He already promised to go through with you. Whatever it is that you're going through, he already promised to be there. As a matter of fact, he's already been there. He's already knows the way that you're getting ready to go. The Lord, my God, whatever your future holds, God is already designed that for you. He says, I've got a plan for you. He already designed your future. So that's why you got to know that everything is going to be all right. Somebody need to say it this morning, everything is going to be all right for me because I trust God because the Lord has already designed my future. He's already designed it. He's already been there. He's already seen it. As a matter of fact, before I was even shaped in my mother's womb, he already predestined me. He already shaped me for what I needed to be. He already equipped me for what was going to happen, my God, throughout my life. And so therefore, I trust God. I trust him to do whatever it is that he needs to do for me, my God. I thank the Lord, my God, for what he is doing, for how he's blessing me and for how he is healing me. So no matter what trial you face, no matter what is going on in your life, with faith, you got to know that everything, everything is going to be all right. You know, and as I was, I was preparing to, 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 to do this meditation, Chronicles 20 and 17 popped in my spirit. And it says this, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord shall be with you. We're in a place right now, people of God, where we're fighting a battle. But I can say the Lord is saying to us, even though the enemy may have surrounded you, and this is Jehoshaphat, listen, enemy may be have surrounded you, may be all around about you. But listen, in desperation, Jehoshaphat went to seek God through prayer and fasting. And the Lord cried out to him. The Lord came back to him and he said, listen, set yourselves and stand still. And Jehoshaphat, listen, I can see him saying, the Lord has spoken. The Lord has said to me, I don't need to fight this battle. He said, all I got to do is stand still. I can hear Jehoshaphat saying, I got a feeling. Hey, I got a feeling because God is with me. God is in this. God is on my side. I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. And just like Jehoshaphat, when you open your mouth and cry out to God in prayer and in fasting, come on, no matter what enemy is against you, no matter what thing has surrounded you, you got to know that when you call on God, God is always there. You're not going to go under. No one's going to take you over. But listen, God is about to fight for you. 
And he's going to fight for you, my God, at a level that you've not ever experienced. And you're going to be able to see, my God, God do some miraculous and powerful things in your life. As a matter of fact, God is going to blow your mind. My God. And just like with Jehoshaphat, my God, the Lord answered him and he fought for him. And I can hear Jehoshaphat singing. I got a feeling, my God, that everything is going to be all right. I got a feeling it's like when you see the Lord coming, when you see him from afar off, my God, is when you know that, listen, your help is coming. And when your help is coming, you can say, listen, I got a feeling, my God, everything is going to be all right. When you're facing the enemy, when the enemy is in your face and when you're facing him head on, and you can say to my God, to yourself, to those that are around you, listen, the enemy thought he had us. And when you can say it to his face, enemy, you thought you had me. But I can see God from afar off and I got a feeling, my God, everything is going to be all right. My God, and just like Jehoshaphat, he came, my God, he trusted God to do what it is that God knew that he could do. What God said that he would do, my God, because God, only God can defeat the enemies that are in your life, but you got to trust him to do it. Father God, I just bless your name. I praise you, God, for who you are. And I thank you, Lord God, for assuring and letting the people of God know this morning that no matter what enemy they face, no matter what is going on all around them, oh God, Lord God, you've got our back, you've got our front, you've got our top, you've got our bottom, you've got our side, Lord, you've got us all around, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, that even though the enemy may surround us, oh God, we shall not fear because, Lord, we have faith and we trust in you. I thank you, Lord God, that we got a feeling this morning. Everything is going to be all right. Lord, we got that feeling because you told us, Lord, that you would never leave us nor would you forsake us, oh God. You told us, Lord God, that all we got to do is stand still, Lord God, and that you would fight our battle. You're going to fight it, Lord God, on another level like we've never seen before. You're going to fight it, Lord God, my God, and win, God, defeat every enemy that is in our lives, oh God. And then when you do it, oh God, we're going to give your name praise. We're going to praise you, oh God, for you are fighting, God, every enemy, God. You are destroying, Lord God. God, everything that comes to try to destroy us, we thank you, oh Lord God, there is no hindrance in us, oh God, that we continue, Lord God, to call on your name. Lord, we thank you for the plans you have for us, oh God. We thank you that there are plans, oh God, to bring us, God, victory. There are plans, God, to bring us hope. And Lord, there are plans to bring us an expected end. We thank you, Lord God, that our future, God, is much brighter than our past, oh Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that we, God, don't have any anxiety about those, Lord, that seems like they are prospering. We don't have any, God, uh, issue, God, about those, God, that do wicked. God, but it seems like that they are doing well, Lord God, but we got to understand that everything will be all right, God, for those who continue to trust in you, to have faith, to believe, God, that you can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. So we are calling on your name this morning, oh God, recognizing that you, God, have come to our rescue. You have come to our aid, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in the lives of your people. We thank you, oh God, my God, for saving my son on last night. We thank you, Lord God, for how you could continue to bless and heal. We thank you for your deliverance right now. And Lord, we thank you for the mighty breakthrough that you've given to us this morning, oh God, to let us know, God, we can grab onto another rung or another ladder, oh God, and climb up one more step, oh God, because you've let us know, God, hallelujah, God, that everything is going to be all right. We bless your name for it in the mighty name of Jesus. We do pray. Amen. Amen, people of God. Listen, it is Monday. We have a great opportunity for the Lord to do some powerful things in this week. And I know that he will. You all continue to believe God. Continue to believe God that everything is, I mean, not just a little, a few things. I'm talking about your family. I'm talking about your, your, your finances. I'm talking about your relationships. I'm talking about your health. I'm talking about everything is going to be all right. The Lord is going to work it out for your good. I love you all with the love of Jesus. You have a wonderful day. Go in peace.